got a forest fire going on out here. That is nasty. Yep. The whole side of that mountain is on fire right now. Ooh. That's pretty bad. Yikes. Yeah, we're just outside of Sholo right now. Almost to Springerville and that's what we're looking at.
right, so we're out here on the property again, um, and we're working on the earth bag structure that we're doing out here. And we have put up a door buck for the slider in the front, and we've brought all of them up to ground level all the way around. And from here now, here, let me show you real quick. So this is where we were last week, and we picked up right there and brought it this way and you can see there's the door buck right there for the slider and then this is the corner and we come all the way around and back to that corner so this is all at ground level right now so everything that we're doing after this is all going to be built up on the walls building up the walls so what we're going to do is we're going to start here and bring this up to that level all the way to the door buck and then pick it up on this side of the door buck and then continue this direction with it so when we do that we're going to have to build some cleats for the to attach the same like we did over here to attach to the uh, the door buck to hold it so it doesn't try to move back and forth and then we're also going to do some other um, uh, cleats to hold the electrical boxes so that they're set where we need them to be so that we can uh, plaster around them on the inside so uh, that's where we're at right now um, we're gonna keep recording and uh, I'll close it out when we're done so thanks keep watching up against the door buck right here to keep it uh, tight and tight into the wall the whole time so what we're gonna do is I've got this board or piece of board here and what I've done is driven some nails through it and you can see they're driven through and I took I put a piece of 2 by 4 here against the uh, the side of this and then we put um, bags up to it so we have earth bags going up to it right here I'm gonna put this on here like this and uh, I've got some one inch screws that'll go through the uh, <clears throat> through the wood into the um, two by four down below. So, uh, Maybe. Yeah, I think I need the longer screw. <laughs> got some longer screws here. You got a screw loose. <laughs> so I'm gonna run this down into the top of that two by four down below if I can get it to go. So it's tight in there good. I'm gonna run another one just for good measure. If I can find one. There we go, that'll do. Alright, so now this is tied into that wall pretty good and we have these sticking up here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh hang on camera. I'm going to drive some nails through the top of this into here this way so that they go into the bag and they're going to grip the bag on this side going down. On the next row. Yep. So, and they look like they're popping up a little bit and not really grabbing a hold. But once we put the other bag, it's going to smash this down, and these are going to grab a hold of the top bag, while these here are grabbing a hold of the bottom bag, and it's going to tie it into this to hold this tight so it doesn't move around, and it makes it uh, more join stable. into part of the, yeah, more stable as it joins into the earth bags on the way around. How often do you do this? So, uh, and we're probably going to do this every two or three rows. So there'll probably be about five or six of them up the, the height of this uh, door buck. So, so this is how we're doing the, uh, 
the cleats for the door bucks. So when we get to the electrical ones, I'll show you that one too. So keep watching. Okay, so it's morning and we worked all night, well, most of the night last night, at least until dark. I would have done this video at uh, when we were done, but it was too dark. You couldn't see anything, so um, I'll show you where we're at here. Uh, we've completed most of one corner over here. So we had the, the cleats that we did. So you can see here's one of them right here. That one's for the electrical box, and I'll show you that when we do that uh, next week. But you can see how it's up a few rows all the way around. And then we extended our corners out here to kind of buttress for some extra support. <clears throat> and this one here is going to tie into the wall that's going to go that direction. And this one's probably going to come out one or two more bags and then just kind of stack up. Uh, against the wall for extra support and then this comes across here to uh, the door buck for the slider right here <clears throat> and you can see here I showed you the the uh, cleat that we did for that you can see it in there in between those two uh, earth bags and then we'll, we'll just put more going up the side of that thing as we go up so and then this guy right here I couldn't get that to pound all the way down. I don't know if I was hitting a rock or something down there, but we're going to have to figure something out to do with that guy. Either I'll get it pounded the rest of the way down or we'll cut it off or whatever we have to do. It's in there pretty far. So, But either way, so that's where we ended last night. So we're out here now and we're going to uh, start some more bottle wall. And so we got all the stuff here for the bottle wall. So. We're gonna get that going on, so I'm gonna set the camera up over here and then we'll get that going and uh, finish it out. So keep watching. Thanks.